Hi, this is Taurus McBride, and I wanted to make a couple of announcements. My course for New York City Refrigeration Operating Engineer has been approved and um, starting a new class very soon. Basically, you have a whole week to try to complete six hours of coursework. Um, that's basically watching videos and uh, doing online quizzes. And then at the end of the week, we're going to have a live review where basically it's going to be me and a, a group of students um, talking about the previous week's lessons. The course is going to be broken up into three sections. We we'll go from lesson one, heat, pressure, refrigeration cycle, evaporators, compressors, condensers, metering devices, accessories, refrigerant one, refrigerants two, math one, math two. Uh, the EPA core type 1, type 2, and type 3. There's some people who would be satisfied just taking this portion of the class, uh, getting a good understanding of how refrigeration systems work and getting their EPA license. The second third of the class we go with, uh, we get in-depth with in, uh, air conditioning systems, refrigeration systems, water pumps, cooling towers, secondary refrigerants, that's like brine and glycol, absorption systems, hot water systems, turbine driven systems, electricity, electric motors, control one, controls two, uh, code. Uh, there's two code sections because you have ASHRAE code, then you have New York City code, and then you have fire safety one and fire safety two. And then the last section, uh, this is uh, kind of uh, where we start preparing specifically for the refrigeration uh, test. And each week, while you are studying for the written, you're also studying for the practical. With the practical simulator, you actually get to see the equipment that you're talking about as opposed to you're just studying for the written and you're just looking at these words and you don't really know what anything means. Maybe you've studied at another facility. You may already have your 200 hour qualifications and you just maybe had difficulty passing the test. Um, during these review sessions, uh, people will be able to see other people uh, going through this. Um, we'll be able to talk about it. And very often when you're in a group of people working on the same thing, it, it accelerates learning because not only are you just going by what you know, you're also listening to other people talk about the same subject matter. So the first section will be 1500, then the next section will be 1500, and then this, this last section will be $1,500. Now, if somebody uh, wants to do the whole course and get their 200 hours, the total course will be uh, $3,500. So basically, you'll be saving $1,000 over uh, doing them separately. If anybody is interested in taking the course, but they're not sure about the financial aspect of it, uh, you can send me an email, and I will sign you up, and you will be able to take these first two lessons free. And if you want to continue, you let me know. If you have any uh, questions, send me an email, uh, info at torstraining.com, and uh, talk to you soon.